Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today in Ableton Live. A lot of times people are wondering if they can enter MIDI notes into their Ableton session using their computer keyboard if they don't have an external keyboard connected to their computer. And the answer is yes, you can. So I'm going to show you guys real quickly how we can do that. I have a brand new Ableton session opened up right here, and I am going to drag in one of my favorite virtual instruments by GeForce, that is the Imposter. Now I'm going to engage the record arm on this channel strip so I can hear Imposter. So there you go, there's Imposter, but I don't want to enter my MIDI notes by playing on the virtual keyboard, and I don't want to make a new MIDI clip on this track and manually program my notes. Rather, I would like to make use of my computer keyboard as a MIDI controller. So you might be thinking, well, he's going to need an extra plug-in or something else to do that. And you're in luck. You do not need that in Ableton Live. It's actually really easy to do. Ableton supports this natively. Let's take a look at the top half of Ableton right here. You're going to notice that right next to the key button, I have this small icon that looks just like a regular keyboard. I'm going to click on that. Now that that is engaged, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and play Imposter using my computer keyboard. <laughs> So how cool is that? That is just my computer keyboard built into my laptop that I am using to play my Imposter plugin right now. So I can also plug a USB computer keyboard in and dedicate it to this if I would like. And uh, this is really, really easy to do. So you can see all I need to do is engage that small icon in the top right hand corner of Ableton. Now there's also some keyboard shortcuts for this. If you're on the Mac, you can hold Command, Shift, and hit the K key in order to engage the keyboard input function. If you're on Windows, you can hold Control, Shift, and K to engage the keyboard input function. So, great thing about this is that now I can start recording a new MIDI clip and I can enter my notes using my computer keyboard. Check it out. And there you go, guys. So what you will notice is that your middle row of keys, your A, S, D, F, G, H, and so on keys, those are going to control your white keys. And then you'll notice that your top keys above those, your QWERTY keys, will control your sharps and your flats. So those are all your black keys right there. So. That is how we can quickly and easily use our computer keyboard to actually control and enter MIDI into Ableton Live. Now remember guys, this is going to have some restrictions as compared to using an actual MIDI controller, of course. Uh, you, you don't get as quick an access to all of the keys because obviously this isn't a full 61 key keyboard or anything like that. But if you're on the move and you have a song idea and you've got your laptop, you can just crack it open and enter these keys really, really quickly and have some fun with Ableton. So there you go, guys. I hope you found this useful. As always, please stay in touch with me. My email address is brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And of course, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obediatutor. Give us a call and find out how you can work one-on-one -on -one with an audio professional just like myself and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. We will help you attain your technology, which is what we do best here at Obedia. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, take care. Yeah.